Dr. Dave 101. This is a message to the head of NASA. All right. This gentleman, Bill Nelson, he's recently been talking over the last month or so about NASA looking in to UAP, unidentified aerial phenomena. Now, the mainstream media has been all over this story because NASA is now looking into it after everything we've heard over the last few years in the mainstream regarding this very sensitive topic. Now, Nelson has been an advocate for space programs throughout his congressional career as a Democrat, first as the Florida House representative and then as a senator. He even traveled to space himself aboard the Columbia shuttle back in 1986. This is a man who is very familiar with astronauts, NASA, and the inside. However, recently, he sat down and stated that Navy pilots have not seen just a few UAPs or Tic Tacs, whatever you want to call them, that there's been over more than 300 sightings of unidentified flying objects since 2004, quoted saying, and they don't know what it is and we don't know what it is. We hope it's not an adversary here on earth that has the kind of technology, but it's something. And so this is a mission that we're constantly looking. What? Who's out there? Who are we? How did we get here? How did we come as we are? How did we develop? How did we civilize? And are those same conditions out there in the universe that has billions of other suns in billions of other galaxies? It's so large, I can't conceive it. Now, this is a man who believes the fighter pilots and believes that there is life elsewhere. He goes on to say, I'll tell you what makes me think I'd better be a better steward of what we have because we're messing it up and we're messing it up just the way we're treating each other. So I know what my mission is. It's to be a better steward of this planet and to be a better citizen of planet Earth. Sure, he's playing all the right cards, saying all the right things. But, Mr. Nelson, shouldn't you check under your own bed before you start preaching to the public about what these craft are? For years, there has been rumors that astronauts from Dr. Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, to many others who have claimed that they have seen UFOs. This goes back to the Gemini missions, where pilot Jim McDivitt spotted an object that was white and cylindrical shaped during his flight. His partner, Ed White, was asleep at the time when McDivitt saw this craft. Gemini 7 also saw a bogey claimed by astronauts, which ufologists claims is a reference to a UFO. There are other sightings that have gone on. Astronaut Leroy Chow reported seeing lights in formation he described as in a line, almost like an upside-down checkmark. Well, guess what? In 2005, Elon Musk wasn't in space with his internet satellites. No. 2013, astronaut Christopher Cassidy saw a UFO float past the International Space Station near its Progress 52 cargo ship. All right? I mean, there are things going on. Astronauts are seeing it. Yet, Mr. Nelson is naively saying that NASA now has to look into it. Look, if we believe a lot of the rumors that have gone on over the years, whether it's alleged whistleblower Donna Hare, who way back a few years ago on this show and many others claimed that NASA was scrubbing photographs of UFOs that were caught by satellites and flight crews. That's a big claim. If that really was happening, shame on NASA. All right. Astronauts, other people claiming that NASA knows what's going on. There's been reports over the years that almost every launch that NASA has provided since the Apollo missions, it has been followed by one or more UFOs. You can look it up. It's not just one of those Google things that you can look up because if it's on Google, it's got to be true. No, 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 no. 
These are real people who have a vested interest in these projects who have been studied this. So Mr. Nelson is out there now jumping on the UFO game. And it is good that NASA is finally talking about this subject because we all thought NASA stood for never a straight answer. So here we are in this situation. The media is jumping all on board because prior to 2004, the media doesn't know anything about UFOs. Frankly, they haven't known anything about UFOs since the New York Times article of 2017. They don't know what to ask. They don't know where they should point their information to. And because most reporters today are about clickbait, about Twitter, about TikTok, and getting the news out quicker, they don't know how to investigate a story. But that's another topic for another night. This is about NASA. My question, if I had an opportunity to interview Bill Nelson, would be this. Have you looked through NASA's files in history and archives to see if there has been any extraterrestrial or UFO contact over the years? Has NASA scrubbed photos from previous missions? Can you confirm what astronauts like Dr. Edgar Mitchell have said about UFOs? Why, do, why does there always seem to be these, these craft that surround every launch? Which there have been videos caught of this. NASA, for years, has should have known about this topic. They've been silent on it for many, many years. Too many, to be honest. And if they want to get into the UFO game, we need some, we need some answers. We need some hard questions to be asked because NASA, whose role it is, is to play the gatekeeper of space outside of the Russian Soyuz program and now China and India. We need to figure out what is going on. We need some answers. You can't just step into the UFO game and then say, hey, we're, we're now looking into this. NASA, guess what? And Mr. Bill Nelson, no disrespect. I don't care about the Navy pilots if they've seen over 300 or how many pilots you've talked to about this. I care about what NASA has seen, what NASA has covered up. And everybody in the UFO community, whether you're on UFO Twitter or you're a researcher like Grant Cameron or Richard Dolan or many others, you need to be asking those questions to NASA. Have you checked your own files? Have you checked your own archives? Bill Nelson, if you want to learn about this subject, tell us if Donna Hare is telling the truth about scrubbing photos that had UFOs on them. What about the rumor of Neil Armstrong going on the private channel, the emergency channel, saying they are here, they are on the hill, and they are watching us? If it's bunk, Tell us. If it's not, tell us why we haven't gone back to the moon. Was it about expense or was it something more? Your archives should know and should tell us. So for Bill Nelson to come out and, and play the, the card, maybe it's just a ruse. In talking to John Hudson from the Unbiased UFO Report, John clearly states that this is something that maybe, just maybe, this is Bill Nelson's baby steps to getting the real truth out, but he needs to start somewhere, which makes sense by what John says. It may be the baby steps to something bigger. Now, do I believe John? I think there's very high possibility. Do I have my own opinion on it? Sure I do. And that is, you don't get a position like Bill Nelson's without asking some questions and without getting in the know. He does know. He should know. And for anybody who has paid attention to NASA over the years, we all know something's going on. We've all sit there and played conspiracy theorist when the International Space Station feed just happens to cut out when something odd seems to be flying by. There are questions about the moon. What is going on on the moon? 
Why haven't we been back? Why all of a sudden is it so hard to get there when back in the day we were using rockets that had less technology than the iPhone in your hand? That's what doesn't make sense. Were we told not to go back to the moon? We don't know. Maybe Bill Nelson knows, and maybe Bill Nelson should open up NASA's little Pandora's box and let us know what is in there. But he won't. He's going to play dumb, exactly like the United States government. It's going to look good for NASA that they are now investigating these UAPs because the Navy fighter pilots say they are seeing them. But will he tell us what NASA knows? Will he confirm what astronauts know? If I'm an astronaut who has seen a UFO, I'm upset right now because I haven't talked to Bill Nelson. And they know there's a cover-up. Their NDAs, which are probably lifetime, make sure that they are going to stay silent for the entire time. There's a lot of pension involved especially when you're making the salary of an astronaut. We need to push this barrier. We can't just have these little foxholes pop up that we trip into every now and again and look down and see that there's a big deep hole there, but we keep on walking by because that's exactly what we are doing. The media is doing it. The UFO field is doing it, and it's not attractive. It really is not attractive to anything that we are trying to prove or disprove. So far since 2017, the entire U.S. government has played us for fools. Sure, you can trust Lou Elizondo and Chris Mellon. They are trying their best to get the information out while withholding information from us due to their non-disclosure agreements. We could say the exact same thing of Bill Nelson, the head of NASA. But Mr. Nelson, I know you won't listen to this. Probably you won't. It's a good chance you won't. But if by chance you do, what are you hiding? What's the real story? Why don't you give us what we really want, which is the questions about NASA's involvement and sightings of UFOs? That's where we need to be. But as long as there's a government cover, calling the shots on the whole NASA project, because they are an entity of the U.S. government and military, we're not going to know. We're going to be left with a million questions and lucky if we get one answer. Because there is a narrative being played. NASA has just joined that narrative. They have left the United States Air Force in silence because the Air Force doesn't want to talk about this. The Navy does, but they only want to talk about it a little bit, because nothing ever happened previous in life prior to 2004. We know that. For people who are not believing in a narrative, the NASA narrative of, wow, we got to look into this, is the biggest farce in ufology right now. It really is. We could say, great. On a positive note, on that Buddhist note, we could say, great, Bill Nelson is talking about it. But what else is he hiding that we do not know? That is the scary part. That is what we need to figure out. Because right now, what he's saying, as impressive as it is, it's not good enough. And the entire government knows, since news channels have become more infotainment than they have news, they know that there are not going to be any hard questions whatsoever asked. And this is a time when someone like Bill Nelson speaks that tough questions need to be asked. Answer the questions, Bill. Be the man. You can be a real leader in this subject. All you got to do is tell us what NASA knows. But of course, you won't. That's your Dave 101 for this week. Thank you so much for checking us on out and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.